Hey guys, Jordan here. In this video, I'm going to be answering a question I got in a recent video from Letitia Williams. Thanks, Letitia, for your question. And she asked um, or has a comment. I already have a dream to become a real estate photographer, but I don't know anything about business or whatever. Should I go to college for business? Uh, what should I major in? Now, I would say you definitely don't need to go to college um, to be a real estate photographer. I did. I have a bachelor's and a master's degree in business. But, um, you know, there's basic prints. It, it's all basic principles um, on the business side of things. Um, I go over a lot of this more in depth in, the, in my courses. But I'll tell you, um, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty basic stuff, right? Don't spend more than your bringing in in revenue you need you need to know uh you know what what profit margin how much um, you want to make as a real estate photographer and kind of build that into your pricing model do your research in your area um you know it, it, they're they're very basic principle business principles that you can pick up in uh in different books i would say i'd probably start with um reading some business books i think it's you know, if your dream is to become a real estate photographer, I definitely wouldn't go the route of formal schooling where you're spending twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars. I think you can get that knowledge from a twenty, thirty dollar uh, book. I think there's, or even some courses, um, but you know, I think you can find success in this business without going to those lengths. But uh, there are, if you want uh, book recommendations, I can give you some book recommendations um around the business side of things but it, it's for the most part in this business it's pretty basic right there's it's not too complex right how much do you charge customers how much time are you spending shooting editing you know uh, do you want to allocate a, a a portion of the revenue towards reinvesting in your business and equipment and stuff like this so you can kind of say, all right, this is what I definitely need. Say you want to pay yourself 25 bucks an hour. Uh, what would that pricing look like? How does that fit in the market that you're servicing? Is that competitive? Can you charge more based on uh, what market area you live in? Um, you know, these are just some basic things that, that you need uh, to think about your business model before creating um, your real estate photography business. And... Uh, yeah it's just basic stuff like how are you going to get customers what offer are you going to do con contact uh, i think education is great um i just don't definitely don't think you need uh formal but if you do decide to go the formal route if you want to go to to school i think you know business uh was great yeah i did i did learn a lot it did help me but i think i learned more the majority of uh, of running a business is from experience and uh, just avoiding uh, some issues that you might run into, right? Cash flow issues. And that's why I'm saying before you start your business, sit down, figure out your business model, your strategy. And uh, anyways, that's kind of a long winded answer. But uh, my answer would be no to, to college. And it's just, uh, you know, in my opinion, just getting the experience and, and getting knowledge through uh, consistently reading books and investing in yourself. I think college is, a, is an investment in yourself, but there's plenty of other ways to invest in yourself and save money. So anyways, if you're interested in learning more about the real estate photography business, you can check out my free workshop. The link is in the description below. That's going to do it for this one. Reach out if you have any questions. We'll see you guys on the next one.